All right, welcome back to day four of Jeopardy Week, Jeopardy. number two. Yep. Uh, if you missed last episode, uh, you missed the comeback of the century. My heart is just still racing. Linda, I got a bad feeling about Linda. <laughs> we come back and won, but we played like shit, even despite that. Like it was awful. I can't believe we won. It was really bad. Like the only category we did really good in was the DC Comics characters, and the problem with that is. Uh, I screwed us on the last one. Oh, well, it happens. I wonder how long it'll be before we get that DC Comics category again. Oh, no, what we got? Marvel characters. Uh, I'm better with Marvel characters. Business and industry. If Not good. Make the character. Maybe. 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 Not good. Hall. Alleluia. Not good. Gardening. Maybe. Because I do it for a living. Cheese's country. Not good. Okay, so this is looking about as bad as the last one. Business and industry. Three. Which category would you like? I mean, invest on my 401k. At the following image. The accessory seen here was standard for this Urkel. Family Matters character. Oh, yeah, Urkel. <laughs> Did I do that? <laughs> Steve Urkel. Waldo, Waldo Waldo. Faldo. Who's that? <laughs> is that? Is that Waldo's last name? And where's Waldo? Where did it? Waldo. <clears throat> well, the good news is we finally guessed. We didn't even guess for like six or seven That's true. Glass slipper for uh, Cinderella. Cinderella. The item seen here to this story. Cinderella, Cinderella. Sleeping Beauty. I haven't seen Sleeping Beauty in forever. I've never seen Sleeping Beauty. Really? Nope. But you have to face the dragon at the end of Kingdom Hearts. Look <laughs> yeah. Following image. Coonskin cap? That's fucking Davy Crockett. Oh, Davy, Daniel Boone or Davy Crockett? Who's Daniel Boone? Who's Davy Crockett? Davy Crockett had the... Uh, oh shit, they're both options. Davy Crockett had the raccoon hat. Who's Daniel Boone? Correct. I forget. He was a guy from... Whatever. Who cares? Oh, your family's home. The item seen here completes the ensemble for this character who had a big holiday on Netflix in 2016. Oh, God. I really have no idea. A big holiday. Fuck you, Linda. Porky Pig. No, what? Sorry. Oh, what? there a, little, a pig that wore like a little red bow and shit like that? Maybe. That pig movie? Um... Oh, you we probably could have guessed that. <laughs> <laughs> Masturbation in theaters. <laughs> Based on real life pro wrestler, this GI Joe character wore this type of pants seen here. Camouflage. Camo pants. A real life pro oh. wrestler, Sergeant Slaughter is the one Wait. I can think of. Yeah, it's based on a real life this GI Joe character. I'd go with Sergeant Slaughter. But Cobra Commander was the G.I. Joe character, that right? Not correct. Oh, well. No, but he was Sergeant Slaughter, but based on a real life pro wrestler. Oh, okay, never mind. God damn it, it was Sergeant Slaughter. Man, how do I miss that? Yeah, I'm I mean, all fucking questions. That's the first thing that popped into my mind was Sergeant how Slaughter. How did I miss Sergeant Slaughter? I just gave that to them. Ruining everything you worked for. Small type of raccoon with a light coat is found only on Cosmwell, an island on this peninsula. Who has a fucking wealthy knowledge of raccoons? I mean, honestly. I only know one raccoon. The Yucatan That's Peninsula? Sure, why not? Rocket raccoon. I just... Why Why a raccoon category? <laughs> I don't get it. They screwed me. Raccoons passed slaughter. these smelly critters as the most frequently reported rabid wildlife species in the U.S. Probably a skunk, right? Want to go with that? Well, I guess a possum could stink, too. You are if it's correct. dead on the side of the road. <laughs> Man, I hate myself sometimes. Pick a category. How do I miss Sergeant Slaughter? This part has four to ten black rings. Counting them won't tell you how the raccoon's age. The tail? Okay. The raccoon's tail? Yeah, that's what we're going with. Ring tail. You are right. Rockin' the suburbs. So just think of that fucking that, that movie, uh, whatever it was called. Over the hedge. Over the hedge, yeah. The New York City Health Department suggests using the cayenne type of this on raccoons to keep them out, not to season them. Pepper? <laughs> cayenne pepper. <laughs> I always think of that over the hedge movie at the end when they played that uh, cleaned up version of uh, Rock in the Rockin the Suburb. Suburb a bit. Yeah, it was like a totally <laughs> remade version of the song with like no swear words in it. It was awful. It me real pissed off and it makes me want to say. <laughs> Silver tipped, like the fur that gives this North American animal its name. Silver tipped. Silver tipped what? Fox? I mean, I've never heard of a silver tipped fox. Nah, I don't think I'm thinking. Silver tipped grizzly Correct. bear. Okay, I've, I've never, never actually heard that. I don't think I've ever heard of that either, but 
Whatever. Either way, Player we're all kind of just hanging in there. Please select a category. <laughs> Doing better than we did last time. Well. Car talk, fresh air, and all things considered are programs in this National Hall of Fame. Uh, that's a, that's on fucking... Radio. I know this one. It's uh, the Radio Hall of Fame. It's Yeah, it's radio, because that's all on NPR. Yeah. National Public Radio. You are Car Talk was actually a pretty good show to listen to. I liked it. I think one of the brothers died Player recently. One. Which category would you like? That's oh, a Hall of Fame category. Got it. David Bowie's Changes and Prince's Sign of the Times were inducted into this Entertainment Awards Hall of Fame. That'd, that'd, be, roll. that'd be music, right? Well, I guess rock and roll, then yeah. The Golden Globe, the Grammy, or the Emmy. Uh, Grammy. Grammys are music. It's got to be Grammy, right? Yeah. Yes. Couldn't be anything right. else. Hallelujah. The Mars P Pathfinder, Sojourner Rover, the Roomba, and R2-D2 have been inducted into the Hall of Fame for these. That's kind of... No, it, it's robotic things. Robots. <laughs> R2-D2? <laughs> is R2-D2 a vacuum to you? <laughs> the Roomba is. Alright. Hank Aaron, Bobby Jones, and Ted Turner. Baseball. Baseball Hall of Fame. Wait, members of this U.S. State Sports Hall of Fame. Oh, that's I, I still know. Uh, it's he's from he's from Georgia. It's Georgia because Hank Aaron was out uh, Atlanta. Right. My son had to come in and show me his little beanie baby he got. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen F. Austin, John H. Rogers, and Co John Coffee Hayes are Lone Star lawmen in this group's Hall of Fame. Texas. Well, it's Texas, but, I, what, Texas. But, what, but what's the group? Oh fuck! All, oh the. Are they Texas Rangers? I That's what we gotta go with. I've never heard of I the others. I think they're Texas Rangers. Exactly. They've yeah. gotta be. I've never heard of the others. I've heard of a U.S. Marshal, not a Texas yeah, Marshal. Yeah, I've heard of a U.S. Marshal. Uh, let's just do this cheese category. <laughs> <laughs> Monterey Jack. Monterey, uh... Dude. Like, I don't know. I don't <laughs> That's know. That's a $200 question. <laughs> Name the cheese's country. The United States. Yes. I guess we invented right. that one. That's a shame. I know Swiss cheese is from Switzerland, and that's about it. <laughs> Bitch, don't do that. Gruyere. Ooh, I've, never even, that. I've never even heard of that cheese. Have you? No, not Michael. We need to go to like a cheese testing or like a cheese sampling party. Oh, God. That's not it. Yes, he lost that. He lost a lot of money there. He'll still be in second place when she gets it, but still. All right, Linda, you can have it. Now let her have it. Oh, Indeed. crap. I wonder if Switzerland's going to be another answer for Swiss. If Swiss pops up. It's a daily Man. double. Have you noticed it always turns yellow when it's a daily double? Mm -hmm. I just noticed that. Actually. Or does it always do that? I don't know. I said yes, but I don't know. Roquefort. I've never heard of these cheeses. Sounds German. I've heard of Monterey Jack. I Austria. That's I was close. <laughs> it could be German. Watch it be German. Uh, probably the Czech Republic. Nope, France. Okay. Czech was Poland. Oh shit! She didn't. She bet. Did she bet five dollars on that? Yeah. <laughs> what a cunt. <laughs> Asiago. I don't know. I don't know where any cheese comes from. I didn't even know the American answer. Venezuela. Oh, sure. Okay. Whatever. Wow. Asiago. That sounds like fancy. Yeah. Okay. That's Italy's it. fancy. Fancy women. Here we come. Player three. <laughs> Dude, why wouldn't you finish the category? Oh my god. Junipers and Japanese maples are especially suited for this tree dwarfing technique. Tree tree dwarfing technique. Juniper. What's what's a tree dwarfing technique? Seppuku. Sadly, that's not Fuck, I don't know the answer to this. She's in the red now. No, she's not. Almost. That was only 200. I thought that said 800. My bad. Bonsai. Oh, I didn't know it was a tree dwarfing technique. I didn't know that you could use that. I didn't know Japanese maples were really good for that. Apparently they are. Asshole. It's a mixture of decaying organic substances such as dead leaves used to fertilize soil. Manure? Compost. Something like that. Loam, alum. Well, I said compost. I hope I'm right. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> That's the first thing that came to your head? It's got to be right. Player one. Pick a category. Like I Fuck said, you and your I do gardening for a living. <laughs> oh, I, oh, I, I have no clue. Oh, I, 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 <laughs> Haiti. Sure. Correct. Did she get that wrong? She got it wrong. Damn it. Which means he's going to get it right. She's negative five. Dollar, dollar bill, y'all. Mexico. 
Well done. Oxico, Mexico. Actually, it was Oxica. Or something. I don't Player know three. It Doesn't matter. It's your turn Go to this gardening. I know that was your category anyways. Ladybugs will help guard your garden from these insects that are also called plant lice. Oh, I think I know that. I just can't think of what they're called. Well, we'll guess it. Um, see, I was going to say mites, but I don't know if that's right or not. But I was thinking it was those little, those little black Sorry. things. No. That's the affides. It's the other one then on the right. It's not the one on the left. Okay, well, at least it was, I got it. I think it's weevils then. Oh, aphids. That's okay. correct. <laughs> you say Linda got it? Yeah. That's okay. Player two. Three We're all just kind of hanging in there right now. Yes. Ladies' slippers, ladies' tresses, and dragon's mouth are examples of this exotic flower. Damn it, we have li we have dragon's mouth, and I can't think of what they are. It's almost like a Venus flytrap. You oh, are correct. Linda, her female knowledge is kicking in. Okay, good, she finished that. <laughs> After they bloom and drop their petals, some roses from these seed pods... Some roses form these seed pods, rich in vitamin C. Sunflowers. No, that's not it. I was thinking vitamin C. Hips. Are... You are right. Hey, Rose guys. hips. Mm -hmm. Rose hip tea. Yep. Play Long three. dark. <laughs> Fuck me. Select a category. <laughs> Fuck me. Time Inc. probably didn't use traveler's checks in 2013 to purchase travel and leisure magazine from this credit card company. Oh, hell. <laughs> Business and industry. Why don't we know anything about this? That is not Visa. Correct. Did you get that wrong? Good. It's probably like discover or yeah. discover sounds right. Like you know, discover you're purchasing leisure. American Express. Ooh. Indeed. We didn't accept Indeed. American Express where I worked first. Me either. Player we two. The same place. Just Which category burdens. would you like? <laughs> this company <laughs> began selling apple butter in 1900. It had to be good. A full line of jams and jelly. Smuckers. <laughs> oh really? It is. I wonder why you would know that. If it's wrong, I'm going to laugh. Yes. Oh, it's okay. not wrong. <laughs> it's not wrong. <laughs> Player one. It's your Player turn one. to choose a category. Oh, $600 Mom question. and dad could tell you this term for a corporation that controls another company, like Viacom does for Paramount. A monopoly? Yeah. Was it a subsidiary? Parent company. Or a parent company. Okay. Oh, mom and dad. Yeah. Exactly. A subsidiary of Viacom. <laughs> <laughs> My subsidiaries. <laughs> The CEO said he had been selling about one billion of Amazon stock a year to finance his rocket company. That's fucking Tesla, isn't it? What's yeah, his name? Musk. Uh, e Elon Musk. I don't think Jeff Bezos has a rocket company. That's not it. Wait, does he ever? Does, does, oh, he's the CEO of Amazon. Yeah, I know that, but does he have a fucking rocket company? Mm. I didn't know Jeff Bezos had a rocket company. I didn't either, but at least she got it. I mean, I knew he owned Amazon, but I didn't know he had a rocket company. That's like a Sergeant Slaughter question. I knew that Here's fucking Elon Musk had a rocket company. This food company is named for a coffee blend made for a Monterey, California hotel. It means of the mountain in Spanish. Colum but Colombian coffee? Oh, uh... It's Del Monte, isn't it? Or, wait. I don't think it'd be Nestle. This is this. This is the coffee. Exactly. I don't you drink... grocery store knowledge. I don't drink coffee. Well, I don't either. I, I got a mocha it. latte I here, but I didn't read it. Here are the placements. Man, we got a couple bullshit questions right there that were... that. Uh, the Sergeant Slaughter and that Elon Musk question was... Elon Musk. For the double jeopardy Ellen, round, Elon. the categories Elon. are... Three named authors. Well, three Not named authors. A baseball bat. Not a baseball bat. We've, we've had that one before, I think. Crazy. Uh, Airplane questions. Happy trails. No idea. French class. <laughs> Not fuck. People who play. Maybe. Oh god, this it's is always, good. It's always so... Uh, this does not bode well for us. And we're in first place and so we have to go last. Encyclopedia Britannica says her 1852 novel helps solidify both pro and anti-slavery sentiment. Oh my god. What? Harriet Beecher That's Stowe. I've never even heard of her. You haven't heard of her? I've heard of her. I just didn't know she wrote anything like that. Player two. Pick a category. Player two. <laughs> I never noticed that until you said that. This Devonshire-born man rhymed about an ancient mar mariner. Oh, there was with an ancient mariner. I don't know. James Whitcop That's Riley. We Whitcomb. Whitcomb. Oh, man, she missed that. He's going to get it. He's going to be right there with us, too. Samuel Taylor well Coleridge. It's 
bullshit that they never miss twice. Like, I, I still don't like that. Player three. If one AI gets it's it wrong, the other one always gets it right. It'd be kind of broken, I guess, but... She followed up Little Woman with an old-fashioned girl in Aunt Joe's scrap bag. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Not a fucking Three named clue. authors. Okay, I get it. I get what it's doing. They Laura, had three names. Yeah, I think Laura Ingalls Wilder, is it? Correct. Louisa May Alcott. Come on, give me a Little House on the Prairie question here. <laughs> <laughs> We're still in first. <laughs> Barely. We won't be this time. He wrote The Song of Hiawatha. <laughs> We're only going to be in first place if Linda gets it. Well, come, she's going for come it. Come on, Linda. I need you to stay in there with us. Percy Beach Shelley. Fuck. Well, Michael's taking the lead. She's going way down. Henry Wadsworth That's Longfellow. It. Okay. Well, only because you say so. <laughs> Um, this pal of Emerson was known for a little civil disobedience. <laughs> oh man, I don't know. She decided to kill me over a little new age management. Edgar Rice no, Burroughs. She's gonna get it wrong again, and he's gonna get it right. That's insane. That is. Damn, Linda, you suck as bad as we do. At least we're not answering them. <laughs> Henry David Thoreau, of course. That's Ralph, the Ralph, I've even Ralph Waldo Emerson was the person he was talking about, and Henry David Thoreau was the answer. People who play. Let's watch this short video. Ryan Gosling and Britney Spears used to play the game. Seen here as kids. If she, yeah, she got one of these. In the bottle. She got a kiss. If Ryan or Britney, she got a kiss. A dollar. You hate me. That's right. Spin the bottle. Mm -hmm. Give us one of our dumb, stupid-ass questions so we can get some money. One. Pick a we need these questions. <laughs> Daily, double. Daily double. Yes. I'd say two, th two I'd, I'd go two grand. Or you could go all in for the fun of it just to go cr fucking, just do it, just go crazy. Just fuck it. Observe fuck it. Fuck it. <laughs> Michael Balzeri of the Red Hot Chili Peppers uses this nickname when he plays the instrument Flea! scene here. Or Flea the drummer. No. Now Flea is the, yeah, guitar. Edge is in you too. <laughs> Yes! Good call! <laughs> yes. Good call going all out there. Oh man. Slash is guns and roses. And we're still not that ahead by that much. Image. The first time the, this actor appears on screen in Dr. No, the first time James, the first James Bond movie, he's playing the game scene here. Roulette? That's not roulette. Is that craps? That's craps. Oh. That's craps. Fuck, dude. We could have got that. Oh, wait. Oh, it's an actor. Oh. Never mind. <laughs> wait a minute. I don't know who the, who the actor is. Oh, we probably could have guessed that because Roger Moore. If it's if it's asking for the James Bond character, I was gonna say was it Sean Connery. Roger Moore was a James Bond. I didn't I didn't know if Sean Connery was the, was in the but first James Bond. Bond. Doctor No was one of the really old. Like? At least she got it. That's true. The Bozeman Trail was closed in 1868 by a treaty with this Native American nation. I have no clue. Bozeman Trail, the Cherokee, the Seminoles, the Braves. I'm just guessing Sorry. random baseball. You got that wrong. I'm just guessing random uh, baseball teams. <laughs> I'm wrestling random sports, sports teams. teams. It's probably the Seminoles. How much you want to bet? Watch it be the Seminoles. The, the Sioux. Sioux. You are correct. But at least it was her. The Siowix. Siowix. Fucking watch Linda come back and beat her asses. <laughs> Happy trails. California's Highway 101 follows El Camino Real, which linked four presidios with 21 of these. Holy shit! What? Interstates? Presidios with 21s of these. Wineries. Wineries? That's did she get that wrong? Damn she you, did, son. She did. Wineries. Missions. Well done. Uh, like a Catholic thing? Maybe. Player three? Pick a category. Player three? Okay, good. Observe the following image. Accordion? The funny man, this funny man played the instrument scene here in a oh, medley that included songs by Daft Punk and Malcolm Moore. Weird Al? Sure. Weird Al, Yankee, he, he Yankee played, Dick. Um, whatever. Steve Martin was a prop comic. <sighs> Come out with an arrow through his head. Player one, please select a category. Take a look at this This actor clip. starred as Peter in a movie about the game scene here. Dodgeball? Dodgeball? This actor starred as... Oh, Peter fuck. in a movie about the game scene. Vince here. Vaughn and Ben Stiller, but they're probably both on there. That's fucking Vince Vaughn, isn't it? Oh, okay, good. They're both not on there. Yes. Duck. Dodge. Duck. Dip. Dive. And dodge. It's <laughs> <laughs> a $2,000 answer? Jesus Christ. Uh, let's just finish Happy Trails. 
an important commercial route, this trail to New Mexico was started in 1821. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. Apparently it wasn't that important. <laughs> It doesn't even sound right. right. You can almost just tell sometimes. It's like, man, that just sounds so wrong. She's giving him to Michael, man. That's all she's doing. He said, I'll give you half my money. I just want to beat these fucks. The Santa Fe. Now, that sounds right. Santa Fe, New Mexico. Yeah. That's Albuquerque is in New Mexico, but Albuquerque Wait, Trail didn't even sound right. Pick a category. Not a baseball bat. Jesus. Jesus. Look at the following image. The bat and equipment seen here are used in this international sport. That's cricket. Isn't it? I think it's cricket. Looks like cricket. If it's not cricket, then I'm gonna be pissed. Precisely. <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> Precisely, sir. How to do? Player one. Which uh, Okay, let's just keep it here. Folks. Observe the following image. Yeah, I'm seeing here. It's called a stick, not a bat. It's used in this sport. Hockey. And the playoffs are currently underway right now. And they're having nine game playoffs. Did you know that? Really? Best of nine is what they're doing this year. It's Jesus. weird. Best of nine. The Predators. That's a weird way to play hockey. I think. Not a baseball the bat. Following image. Ping pong. Frequently kept in a basement or rec room with a table that's used for playing this sport. <laughs> it's everything but a baseball, evidently. Ping pong. Ping. Ping pong, pong. which is dead. Foosball. <laughs> you are correct. You've been playing the foosball behind mama's back. <laughs> Ping pong is the devil. <laughs> the following image. Oh, oh that's uh, crochet. Croquet. Cro crochet? Crochet, it's croquet. Croquet. Crochet's where the needle and shit that old lady Water does. polo. Mini golf, if you're gonna get wild. <laughs> <laughs> you could technically do it, I guess. This is a good category. Yeah. Look at the following image. The stick seen here can be used to throw the ball or poke a ball. Oh, that's a fucking. I know this. Lacrosse. Yeah. Lacrosse, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's lacrosse. And we got every one of them in that category. Yeah. <laughs> that doesn't happen very much. What's that add up to be? Let's see, it's. It's 3,600 plus 12 is 48, and 12 is $6,000. Completed in 1937, this 3,500 kilometer long hiking trail passes through 14 U.S. states. I do not know. God, you read that fast. But if we answer them all, we get $6,000. That's crazy. The Smoky Mountain Trail. No, that's incorrect. Who got that one wrong? Her, who of do you course. Think? Who do you think got it wrong? Michael's going to fucking steal it now. That's so annoying. The Appalachian Trail. Kind of. I mean, these just sound wrong when she guesses them, and it's like, okay, yeah, that's definitely right. Please select a category. Observe the following image. The herd of animals seen here came to symbolize this U.S. state at the southern end of the Chisholm Trail. Longhorns? Cattle? I mean, do we guess Steered? Them? Yeah. It's... Texas. I would think it's Texas, the Longhorn State, right? Yes. Correct. Isn't Texas the Longhorn State? Yeah. Texas Longhorns. <laughs> Player one. Texas is dumb. <laughs> uh, I mean, it doesn't really matter here. Let's do this one. Even some French think this meal, petit déjeuner, is the most important of the day. If we're gonna, if Breakfast? We're, if we're going to give up... Uh, That's right. If we're going to give up $6,000, let's just do it on this category, because playing crazy might have more we know. But the hell, this one did, so fuck it. If you approach the signal called Faire Rouge on a French road, you'd better do this. I wouldn't say stop, but I'm not going to guess. That's probably what it is on a French road. Hopefully, he gets it wrong. What is go? Wrong. I'm gonna stand there and fuck it. It's gotta be stop. Why would there be a sign telling you to go? That makes no sense. That's yeah, yeah. duh. I felt like we should have just taken that one. Yeah, but I don't know. I don't that would have been, been a free sixteen hundred on him. It's yeah. your turn to choose. <sighs> Plain crazy. Built in 59 days and officially known as the Ryan NYP, it made its first flight on April 28th, 1927. I do not have any fucking clue. Helicopter? Nah, we didn't have helicopters in 27. The Glamorous Glimmis. No. Did she guess that? Of course she did. No, oh, he, he did. did. I thought, I could have swore I seen her light up up there. I thought I did too. The Spirit of St. Louis. You know, we actually had a category like that, I think, or something of the day. Mm -hmm. Similar to that. The other day being like a month ago. <laughs> yeah. Built by British and French manufacturers, this was the first supersonic passenger plane. Oh supersonic passenger plane. I don't know. Probably Boeing or something. Boxcar. Sadly, that's not it. That was her. Another time that just doesn't sound right. I don't think it's Boeing though. I wouldn't. Th I wouldn't think it would be Boeing. <laughs> Concorde. Okay. You are correct. I don't think he can actually come back and. 
He's going to have to have like 12,000 or 11-something. He's like? got to get another 6,000 to do Let's it. Watch this short video. Flaps are on the inside of a wing, while these hinged sections control the balance from side to side. Raising and lowering them enables turns. Oh, uh, I think I know this. Should we guess it? While these hinged sections... Nah, just let it matter because I don't want to guess. Well, Linda's guessing. Alien that's not, that's exactly. Hey! That didn't sound right, but fair Good hell. job, Linda! Player two, you dumb bitch. Please select a category. Yeah, you're good. She can come back and beat Michael. The first commercial jumbo jet began service in 1970 and could carry more than 400 passengers. That might have been a Boeing. Or a, uh, seven, uh, you yeah. You said Boeing. I think it's Boeing 747. I don't think it's the Airbus. That's correct. Okay. Yeah, we, we still have 747s fucking Player being one. flown today. It's your turn to choose a category. It's, it's a daily, a daily double. double. It, it, it freezes up a little bit. How much do you want to wait? <laughs> what do we do here? Just like a grand? I don't want to do a whole lot. Uh, I, I would say a grand. I don't want to like screw ourselves. I don't right. even know if we can do if we can even get get it right. I'll do this. I'll, I'll do 1400 just to whatever. This long range bomber that first flew in 1954 also saw action in Iraq after B52. The B52 bomber. The B-52s. That's a band, yes. I think, too. Call me crazy. There we go. I think we've locked it up. Yeah, we should have. But In your house, bomb. what the French call La Cuisine, we call this room. The dining room? It's uh, the dining room or the kitchen? That's not it. It's, <laughs> the, it's the kitchen. Now watch him get it. And be Come on, Linda. Come on, Linda. Ah, oh, she did get it. Good. <laughs> He'll get 12,000. In all fairness, it could have been able to toss up between kitchen yeah, and dining room. Like I just... La cuisine. I guess French. kitchen makes a little more sense, but... Uh, yeah. Fuck it. French. One of these sensory organs is Loel in French. Both of them are called Les Soucs. Sensory organs. Oh, man. I'm about to hit A. Sense, you... <laughs> sensory organs. Like... The... Yeah, I guess that would make more sense. She got it, though, so that's good. Yeah, we, we won. Yeah, it's over. Nobody can Last come back. Clue. It's ogre. Open up a French date book and you might see Henvier and Avril. Names of these. Months? Yeah. January and April? I mean, that seems like they'd be yes. months, right? Yeah, okay. Nice little 1600 attacking on at the end. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So at the most, if Michael bets at all, he'll have... Uh, 12,800. So what should we bet? So if we bet 10 grand... We'll still have 16, so you, you can technically bet you like, to like 12 grand and we'll still win. Because that'll take us down to 14,200. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. The wings on this, created in 1948, represent the muse of art. The atom represents the electron of science. The wings and the atom. Does the Emmy have like wings and like a, like an atom thing on it? Or? I thought that was the Academy Award. I think it might be the Academy Award. I think you're right. The Academy Award's more academic, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. I think that that's right. No, it's wrong. Damn. Wonder which one it is. It was the Emmy. It's an Emmy. Is it? An, I don't. I can't remember what an Emmy looks like. Does it have wings and like mm -hmm. an atom? I guess that's it does. It. Huh? Damn, Michael did. He probably went all in too, didn't he? Look at that. Good thing we didn't bet any more than we did, huh? <laughs> that's eh. not correct. Man. Wrong. Either way, we still won. The Emmy Award. I always forget what Here all those awards. That's like placements. Golden Globe and all that shit. Either we way. Won. We didn't miss too many that time either. God, we didn't miss too many that time. We did pretty good. We did a lot better this time than we did <laughs> last time we, we won. Yeah, fuck yeah we did. We didn't win by as much either, but we we did better, if that makes any sense. Like, look at our accuracy. We only missed two in that whole last round. I think we missed like four in the last one. Some jeopardy for you, though. Oh man, thank you so much for watching.